What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we are pushing through northern Italy and the garrison of Milan is deciding to sally. And they have quite a significant elite contingent. Um, however, we have an army under Santos Reyes that is more than up to the task of destroying them. You can see we've already fought down here at Genoa. We've cleared out that garrison. So these will be two quite valuable frontier territories of the Austrians we will be taking. Uh, which will probably be next turn because this is during the end turn phase. Uh, six pound horse artillery, got demi cannons, a couple of units of chaff that have spawned because it's a garrison force. But let's take them out. We have quite a significant contingent of heavy artillery. So I fear we do not have much to worry about um, from this enemy force. We can pitch up our battle line, blow them to shreds with our artillery from range. We have one unit of howitzers, which will be focusing on um, weakening their marine contingent before they reach our lines. And then we have our heavy cavalry that can smash in from the flanks. And this is quite good terrain. So let's... Ooh. Hello. Okay, let's put a unit of Walloon guards. Why are you not deploying? So you want me to deploy like that, but there... Interesting. So I'm to put a unit of volume guards to hold the flank because I want to drop a unit of artillery here. Okay, I might have to shuffle them back just to make sure they're not stuck out ahead of my line. Then let's take three more units of infantry plus a Grenadios de Marina. Stretch out on the right flank. There we go. So then let's pick. You're not deployed, you're not deployed. Okay, let's make sure I've got my... the units I've deployed... I've got deployed, okay. Let's put... Hmm. Let's put one battery to the rear on the high ground. We are going to deploy three more infantry plus a volume guard down here on the low ground push up the left flank. Hmm, that leaves us with quite a lot of spare troops. I'm going to drive in more infantry units around the right flank. Let's put a regiment of horse and conquistador on the right flank. Keep conquistadors on fire. It will off for now. How it's has dropped down behind the line. There we go. I've got the Irish regiment which look pretty good. I like their officer and the nice standard. That looks properly. That looks. That looks more like it than this to me. That looks like the sort of flag I want to see. But anyway, let's take our Irish regiment. They're going to push to the left as well. Okay. So how it's uh, where's their marines? Seventeen foot guards of marines right up front. Ah, there's a. Okay. There is a hard feature on the right flank as well. So let's advance my infantry up. Let's take some of my elite infantry and try and push around the flank. Let's take my cavalry. Push around the flank. Unfortunately, we've got weird sound things going on. So let's take our infantry, push up on the flank. How it's a focus on the Hussars. This unit, this artillery battery back here will be focusing on their guns, which is fine. Okay, everyone's formed up. Bring up my general. To be honest, I think these infantry will probably not get to do anything because they're going to be pushing to... <laughs> they're going to be pushing for the entire engagement. Um, what I do want to do, I think, is take these three units and push them up a little bit as well, because there's a feature here that prevents them from properly advancing against us. The light horse are about to commit. There we go, we should have sound now. Drop 
dropping men into square. They've seen off those chaps, the cavalry. Push around the flank. There we go, blasting these dragoons with shrapnel shot from point blank range. Curve in the left flank of our force there. Go on, volume guards. Oh, blasting them with canister at point blank range. Yeah, silly to waste my infantry going around the flank like that. Where's my howitzer? Maybe drop quick climb onto that garrison unit here. There we go. They can push back, switch to round shot. Send my conquistadors in to knock out their hussars, the regiment of horse, go after the general's bodyguard. That means the artillery over here can actually start to bombard some troops in the centre. The carabiners and our, the action on, the, uh, on our left flank is going quite well. Quite a large concentration of troops here actually. Let's take our howitzers and focus on that unit of marines. Ooh, that's a good quick climb hit there against the unit of infantry. Chase down the hussars. If they start to get into difficult, well, actually no, we don't, have to, we don't have to charge them to there. Their gun crew has been destroyed. Fighting in the woods on the flank, you've got a unit of firelock armed citizenry facing down my regiments of infantry, including including my Walloon line. Oh, great quick climb hit there. Right onto those marines. Where's my... First of all, my Irish regiment didn't get involved in the action. Let's run a conquistador unit up. Let's get my light infantry here. Push up my Walloon line. The engineers are deploying stakes. Okay, we've, cr we've cracked their flanks, let's pivot you chaps like so. Get our conquistadors just to chase down, first of all, the 2nd Regiment of Grenadiers. You men just hold ground. Well, don't hold ground, run over here to head off those marines, switch our howitzers, and our artillery to focus on that unit of engineers, because they're the most vulnerable. Well, they're the most um, dangerous unit. This artillery to bombard this section of Austrian troops here that's still trying to hold the flank. The general's been killed, which is excellent news. Who's here? Line infantry, marines. And they're going down. Advance the guards up. chase down there. You guys should or will knock out this unit of grenadiers, then go after that unit of marines. So I thought this line infantry with this this flanking effort would be a bit pointless. Oh well. You charge the marines, you guys charge that unit of marines. Damn right, we're going to continue. Where's my general? Bring him into the mix. All our artillery cease fire. There we go. General's bodyguards can be useful, just don't let them get slaughtered um, from your own incompetence. That's my general advice. So the 15th foot guards are going down. Ooh. You got the Swiss Guards. 
Too bad this Conquistador unit is going to be really far away from everyone else, but they're still chasing down a Marine unit, so that's still good stuff. You're more than enough to knock out this unit of Swiss Guards. Come on, there's only two left, and there's a unit of Horse Grenadier Guards, a good units to take out as well. targeting the wrong unit there, but you've knocked out that marine unit. There we go. That's a horse grand air guard unit knocked out. And then go after that unit of marines. Your job is to do as much damage as possible to this guard engineer unit. Although it looks like you're not going to get to do as much as I'd like you to do. Now I'm citizen, you're also going to route. Focus on this unit of marines. Although that conquistor unit, yeah. Just quickly knock them out. Damn, they also escaped. But that is still a victory for our forces. That's significantly, that's damn near destroyed the garrison in Milan. Looks like they might be moving up to try and do something to support Stuttgart, but I am okay with the battle the way it is. They've sieged Gdansk. So we need to continue fortifying our eastern flank against the Austrians, because they have moved to try and resolve the situation they've got themselves in, whereby they have uh, got <laughs> um, their army completely, well, their empire completely encircled, and they've left too many exposed frontier settlements which allow us to swoop in and grab them. The idiots. Nevertheless, we shall not stop until we have absorbed the entire Austrian Empire. Don't worry Russia, you're next. But again we need to be very careful how we invest our cash, because we could at any point be at war with the Russians, so we need to keep our investments in our frontier garrisons strong. Obviously we're going to, we are going to take out the Cherokee at some point. But I want to build up my Berlin garrison, my Königsberg garrison and my Warsaw garrison to the point where I can actually move them out of the territories. So you're two turns away from building walls. We're not going to worry about building army board yet. You're still building infantry which is good. We're probably going to, well, we are going to sally and push back Christoph Ettinghausen. Okay, let's get two units of Swiss Guard in Konigsberg. You're probably going to push out and hit Franz Telemann. But let's keep our, keep our recruitment going because we don't want these territories to become weak and then get attacked by Russia. Um, now, economy, 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 that's what it's all about. Let's upgrade this farmland. Upgrade this commercial port, this winery. Actually, before I do that, I should look at, yes, these kind of things. So let's upgrade this commercial port. Let's recruit a sloop. Yeah, I'm okay with them raiding around Central Europe. <laughs> Yonchil Roig is okay. I don't want to push out. I want to hold. So yeah, you are. To be honest, we could probably attack Stuttgart. We were drawing these Württemberg, these are Austrian armies, but that's okay because we can just bombard the crap out of them and not really give them anywhere to go. So if we attack Stuttgart, that's some very elite infantry back here. It's our agent, it is. Have a look at Munich. Because you could go for a daring snatch and grab there. But I want to move this army that's fully replenished down towards Dresden. Well, go 
go straight on. If they intercepted us, then we would just push their garrison away. Hanover, they still need to come to terms with their new Catholic overlords. Cologne is upset, so let's recruit. Not these Dragoons, because they're limited. And recruit a bit of militia, and let's build a craft workshop. The pleasure gardens are healthy. Upgrade the steam pumped iron mine. Make sure Paris, yeah, infrastructure is good. But let's, uh, before going too mad, let's just check out my building tab. Get some roads built. Top tier buildings are always nice to build because then they're done. Uh, well, and they make bucket loads of cash, but. You know what I mean. Once you've upgraded a top tier building, Baghdad's fortified, which is excellent, but it is very much the forgotten front for now. Okay, Damascus get roads. Jerusalem can have roads. Ankara's got roads. Steam pumped. Steam power cloth mills are always fantastic investments because they make so much money. They are expensive to build though, but my god, they pay themselves back. They are going to run out. So I'm going to upgrade this weaver's cottage because it's actually. On first of all, I'm going to upgrade the roads here and here to Marcio Campos. You're not needed for that. In that attack but you can position yourself here to push towards Luau when we eventually declare war on Russia that me might mean Jean Mazde you might be better placed to hold Moscow at risk because then the Kiev garrison can drive northwest and push against Minsk I think that's a good plan but we need a bit of cash to make sure we don't run into difficulty. There you go. It's a Luterio rig. So you're going to push against Zagreb. You require two troops. Have we recruited them from anywhere? Is anyone running over? No. So let's steal two units from Aron Mazda. So what do you need? You need infantry I think just infantry regular infantry you join Christian you advance up the west side of the bank I don't want to push until we knock out Württemberg because then that causes all these troops to disappear which is a lot so Miguel Capi Miguel Capitillo advance to Genoa just try and demand the surrender for now. Because at least we've taken the territory. Then you, chaps, Santos Reyes. You, chaps, also demand the surrender of the garrison. No, they're not letting you. Okay, so we're going to attack and that will also draw in this force to the south. And then we can start to push against the... Austrians here, so like this army would need to come around to the south of the mountains, push up and hit this army, so that they both retreat north of the river. But yes, let's mop up the remaining troops outside Milan and bring the territory into the fold. We might not be able to do as much of an much um, offensive stuff as I'd like because I spent a bunch of money on my economy this turn. But that's okay. Maintain the pressure, maintain the investment. That's the key thing here. You don't ever it's nice to have, you know, every turn that progresses, my entire empire just becomes more and more wealthy through intelligent investments in I mean, roads. I mean I know roads don't produce an immediate short term gain, but my god, in the long term they are huge. So let's create four infantry units and two units of marines to push straight through. I'm gonna group some cavalry on the right flank. To be honest, I might just make two clusters of infantry. 
one on each flank, so that way no one army is going to be screwed over from the reinforcements. Put all my guns on the right, because it's the only place that really makes sense. So let's put a Conquistador unit on the left, fire it well off. General on the left. Right, okay, so... So advance this line up, advance the cavalry up. So this army is going to be mostly focused on holding these guys from driving towards us and also to act as a bit of a magnet to draw in their reinforcements. The chaps on the left flank are going to storm up as quickly as they can to help trap this central garrison unit. They are dropping... We are getting some howitzer shots off. Fundamentally, this army that's coming in to reinforce them has already been defeated in the field, so they are, they are very weak. So if I were the Austrians, I would be mightily concerned. So we're storming towards them. We'll sweep up these guys, push in, knock out these chaps, deploy around about here, and then we can focus and destroy the reinforcing army. Although, to be honest, these guys, well, I like deploying them here, because if I push them up, it stops them, if they deploy to about here, it stops these guys from being able to pick at their left flank. Where it is is actually quite nicely covered. Push the Conquistadors up alone with Firewall on. Start to pick it a third regiment of militia. Yeah, they are attempting to get up to no good. This is why we need to push up with our troops hard and fast. Because they may attempt to try and drive a wedge between our armies. But this is why I've gone quite aggressive in pushing my troops forward. Because that gives them something to focus on in their place. These hussars are death charging into our line. Poor souls. They're going to get a volley from this regiment of foot too. You chaps can drop into square because those hussars are coming in. There you go, the firelock armed citizenry even push back. Charge my conquistadors on into the third foot guards. My general can mop up the third regiment of militia. There we go, deploy these men into the low ground here. Deploy these troops up onto the higher ground. So let's take our flank here and slowly creep them up. Field artillery focus on the reinforcements. There we go, the garrison, they're down. Enemy generals down, push up our cavalry. Hussars are down. Although they could cause problems for us. We don't need to chase down the militia, but I'm gonna. Okay, we can take these three troops, push up our left flank of our right. Brigade here, Conquistadors push up and get ready to engage. Let's 
Well, this this flank's going to be very fit. Put in a volley of ooh, volley of your uh, carbines. There we go. I'll get in. Ah, oh, this is all artillery. Oh yeah, they are so not going to get involved. Cease firing my artillery. Because I don't need them. No. Actually, yeah. You charge the Pandar. Get my regiment of horse to charge on. I mean, I mean, my Conquistadora are fighting troops. I may as well make them do the fighting, because anyone can do the mopping up. New men cease fire. Chase down that regiment of foot. We probably do want... Well, we do want to knock out the artillery here. Because these are a reinforcing army in the field. It would be nice in one action to destroy them both. You chase down that gunner. I mean, these guys are just trying to do as much damage as possible to an infantry unit. Troy come back. I mean, you're not going to do too much damage to these guys. You might knock out this infantry mercenary unit, though. That would be pretty beneficial for our empire. Okay, go for the irregulars, because you're not actually... Eh, yeah. Kill the irregulars. Actually, no. Go for the militia. Kill the irregulars. Do damage to the militia. Then try kill the last of these irregulars. Come on, it's these two. To the left. Oh well. You go after them. Oh good, they are still routed. Good. Send a unit over to try and deal with them. Oh, nuts. I meant, I meant to... I was trying to click hold of this unit. There we go. Good stuff. So that's uh, Milan secured, and that is also this army in the west destroyed, although we have annoyingly pushed towards our left flank. So let's take... Oh no, you're still not really an army. I don't think they can... No, they can't move around this force without hitting my control zone, so they have to stay here. Raimundo Deca de Cuna. You're going to march up and join Modesto Luciona. Luciona Luciona. But I don't want to do too much more fighting. Because it already needs... Well, fundamentally I've got a lot of investments that need doing. This army is replenishing and rebuilding and sit in the roads need upgrading. Don't want, to do, don't want to do any fighting here. I'm okay if they want to attack me, so you might march here to prevent them from driving north west. Our spy is going to infiltrate Prague. I mean, you're, you're mostly Catholic. I suppose it would be good to have more. Because right now I don't have many priests, do I? Palestine, Edinburgh. Well, you're needed in Edinburgh, aren't you? Well, not truly needed, but just, let's just make them 100%. Actually, no, we don't even need to do that. Especially as you're quite a good one. Let's march you across. I mean, this militia was originally intended to go bolster these fronts. I'm okay with holding Gdansk for a turn. Hmm. So the Americas can't really do much. I mean, I want to take Florida, but... Again, I need to also rebuild Santo Domingo as well. As well as do a whole bunch of investing over here. Um, 
Let's take this sloop and send them to... Actually, send them to Virginia so we can cancel the building of this one. There we go. So you are on the border waiting to drive towards the enemy there. You're going to march up and join them, as are you. Looks like some of them have lost their orders. There we go. The Spanish Free Company of Catalonia are recruited. This force here at Upper Louisiana that also needs replenishment and the, the territory needs rebuilding because we've got Louisiana on the ropes. Um, I think the only thing to do is hit in turn. We're about to get platoon firing, which is great. Well, not too many far, too many turns off of mass production either. Good. Let's hit in turn. My agents are continuing their marches, but I do have a lot of things to spend money on, and one thing it's not really needed for is new troops. They're pulling troops away from Vienna, which is potentially useful for us. If they wish... Ah. So you've pushed around the flanks, you're going to need to be engaged to push them back north. Ooh. Ah, oh, right. The auto resolve, I'll get I'll take a lot of damage, but I want to fight them because it's drawing in the garrison. I'll fight it manually. Um if I auto resolve I'll lose a disproportionate amount of troops, and it should be a fairly quick action. But yes, it will push away two small armies outside Croatia and also push the garrison of Croatia away. So it will be beneficial um for our advance in the long term. I mean, yeah. Artillery lobbing shots from the rear. Now it's his lobbing shots. When you got a line long enough, it doesn't really matter where they deploy. There we go. Let's get our general up into the mix. Hello. My artillery do what artillery wants to do. So what have they got in? Militia. Militia and lances. I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, don't really need to do much else on that flank. my lancers to charge their infantry, get my cuirassier in against the general's bodyguard. The best, the better outcome would have been to, whoa, Swiss pikes. Okay, so you know you guys that were running over there, instead come over here. Knock out that general. New men push up and advance. Change you guys to round shot. Move up our infantry, our cavalry over here to knock them out in short order. Hmm. Pikey boys. So my lance is into the militia. Try to see if we can get a charge. Oh no. We won't be able to get a charge off because they're walking but they're running. Lancer guards to go after the regiment of artillery. I mean, are they going to run into us? Yeah. You're going to knock out the general's bodyguard. I'm going to go. Do some, get up to some shenanigans on my Lancer Guards there. 
My infantry's getting up into position. Yeah, you guys knock out the 12 pounders. Fusiliers deploy into square. So this charge should be fairly devastating with my lancers. Yeah, we're down to six, six men already. We just want to make sure we don't get pinned against the the edge. Run my light, ca run my cavalry out of the way because infantry is about to get into position. Make sure my cavalry doesn't get trapped. Yeah, just let that ca let that let that action do what it's going to do. Another enemy commander has been knocked out. Get my howitzers to spin around and attack the militia. To, to, to attack the Swiss pikes. This militia unit is going to be in fairly bad shape. So no cavalry charging in. Ca charging cavalry into pikes is a bad idea. But whoever they aren't facing is going to charge. So then... Look at that, they're actually running just out of my... Everyone turn away. So I've hit my infantry's hit them. You men get in. You men get in. The militia's been seen off. Everyone's dead over here. So we're going to lose some cavalry in this action, but I think it will be beneficial in the long run. Not when my howitzers blow up everything. I thought I made them not attack, but my Lance, Lance Guard's doing okay. My Curacier took a bit of damage. Oh, yes. It's in the battle there. No sense carrying that on. We have destroyed, hopefully. Ah, now they're going to escape. The garrison. Ah, they're all going to escape, but they're all going to escape as fragments. Good, that army is combined in Italy. That means we can push them and knock them back. It looks like Croatia's not out of the count. Not out for the count just yet. Yeah, Austria's raiding away. The Ottomans have declared on us, so we're going to. Ooh, hopefully they're not joined by Persia. Good. Sorry, Ottomans. You're done for now. Let's recruit a garrison force in Baghdad, and the army in Baghdad is going to march north. And then that will be the end of the Ottoman Empire. And it will be a new front against the Russians, and we're also going to need to cautiously march up against Persia. But we've got a lot of things we need to repair first. The Santo Domingo, which can sail and la sail and try and take Florida to put um, the Cherokee, in, the Cherokee in, uh, in a difficult position. But then again, that's not really critical. Not yet. We've got plenty of other things to spend our money on first. Yeah, fortunately we're not at war with Persia. Soon the Mughal Empire will experience our wrath. Cherokee are on the march. Württemberg, let's get they're stuffed. Yeah, you've got Sally. They, they, I mean, they don't have any choice. But we're going to fight it normally because I don't like what the balance of power, how the balance of power reads. It's a bit of a bummer, but you know, we we all know the score. We all know what Empire Total Wars like. We well, we know what Total Wars are like. Um, they will give you an unfavorable balance of power, and then you'll auto resolve, and then you'll get screwed over. So sometimes you have to fight little actions like this just to make sure that things come out your way. 
fundamentally the garrison's weak. The armies that are outside the outside of the territories are also weak. It won't be a problem. They are probably going to deploy right up in our face. Well, ordinarily, when you're defending from a garrison like this, when they deploy, they deploy up in your face. Doesn't mean that will happen here. You need more cavalry. Deploy our guns up on the high ground to the rear. Deploy our howitzers back here as well. Diogo deploy here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we've got one reinforcing army coming in from over here. The Halle Regiment, some regulars and some hussars, and then the army right over here at the rear. Hopefully they will start running once they enter the action. Yeah. Charging in. Provincial cavalry getting shot to pieces. Yeah, that's they've had enough of that. Our foot artillery to the rear is going to sit here and bombard the Hallow Regiment. The cavalry will be dealt with fairly quickly. <laughs> the 31st Regiment are already uncomfortable with what's going on. Land Van Militia is... Oh, they just took a volley. The Walloon Infantry are just out of range. So what infantry is coming in back here, and are they running? Regulars and grenadiers aren't running. Yeah, things will happen the way they will happen. Advance! Oh, nice one, guys. <laughs> He's doing a slow-mo competition. Get an infantry unit on the wall. Let's run two infantry units and a regiment of force around one flank, just because we know what the AI is like. Switched around, shot, and engaged the Hussars. This is part of the reason why I want my pikes over on this flank, because I can just charge everyone. Oh, the artillery is coming in. Just a handful of guys, but not many. Okay, I might, I might speed this up a bit. <laughs> because, yeah, that's going to happen. Speed up time. Get these hussars to hit those guerrilla mercenaries. Well, I mean, they are electing to defend the fort, which is, well, I suppose it's kind of smart. Get our pikes in there. Yeah, you keep attacking the mercenaries. This infantry can push in through the gate. So let's redeploy you guys like that. We want our pikemen to get inside. 
these guys may as well continue to attack the guerrilla mercenaries because the once Württemberg dies, these Austrian troops may still exist in the field. Watch out, there's the regulars. The fifth regiment. Oh, I'm going to put up with that. run these guys in if they start causing if they start going after my guys I'll just dump them into squares as long as they get mostly in yeah they're coming just block all the exits Hala Regiment's gone. All my gunners engage the Irregulars. Oh, these guys are going to pick up. They're, they're going to stand on the fire step. And then it's going to pour a volley down against the Lancers. Obviously these guys are... I mean the Irish Brigade. No, they're holding. The Walloon might... The square might get broken. Are they are hussars, so if they can hold the ground, I mean they are. Oh, they're still a regiment of foot. They're not guards, despite their. Well, they're best. They're sort of halfway house. They're not recognised as foot as uh, guard units, but they aren't exactly slouches. Oh, most of these guys aren't even firing. Let's run them up just to make sure they wipe out these regulars fairly quick. Honestly, you guys take a volley. It's frustrating that they sat there and took one. <laughs> they've, they've all followed followed one one after another up the the ropes. Yeah, now they know they aren't. Okay, you fire well off. Another smack into the Walloon line, but they are holding their ground, and once they start to... Oh, there we go. Extreme long-range musketry. As we say, the square on the, the Walloon infantry broke. There we go. All my artillery folks on the Grenadiers. We're not going to chase them down because that will just be a bit annoying. You men just get out of there because you're going to start taking damage from... Actually, no, don't. You can knock out the Lancers. Yes, there we go. Lancers destroyed. Yeah, let's just end it there. We could ch could have chased them down, but it would have drawn it out a bit. A bit more than it needed to. Needed to. Yeah, you're destroyed. You're destroyed. Württemberg. Hasn't fallen, but that's okay. I want to try and do some combining with troops to try and get those elite regiments of line back into the mix. So, here. Here, here, here. Well, no, I like you being there, actually. It's preventing them from... They can't cross here. It's preventing them from breaking out and heading over into our territory. So you, Diego, might continue to replenish. Austin de Mercado sees the bridge. Says, oh, can you leave Hanover? No, they're still very unhappy. But you are who I could do with deploying my agents in to help. To start to try to uh, convert their people. Convert them to the true faith. San Jacinto, go over to Greenwich. I know these guys aren't really doing anything at the minute, but that's okay for now. 
first of all, the Americas. Build the Governor's Palace, repair the port. We can't build anything. Repair this port, repair this port. Upgrade the roads and just do a flat upgrade across all of their production buildings. Tobacco warehouse is as big as it can get. Excellent, that's a good investment. There you go, upgrade Charleston, upgrade the roads, upgrade the farms and plantations, but again, let's not get let's not get ahead of ourselves. Traits gained. Morally impaired. Rafael Delgado. Jamie de Azara is a happy drinker and El Eleuterio Roig is a happy is a also got some good stuff. I've already forgotten what it was. So, Carlitos Quiroga. March up to about here, I think. Let's cancel the construction of the water power cloth mill because that sucker is going to get raided. Might bring Raimundo de Aguerto back to Baghdad. Because you can then start to build up another force here, but again it's going to mostly be infantry and a bit of cavalry. Now you're still converting Damascus, but you're not needed. Get over to Baghdad, let's upgrade the iron workshop. Okay, keep upgrading. It's only a matter of time before Persia go declares war on us. So really we need to bring we need to engage this force fairly quickly, get this force built up as quickly as possible, not and have it wait sat here waiting to push into Ardabil. Yeah, we've got a lot of things a lot of things to do. A lot of things to do. So you're going to be within range for this army to sally out and hit. From Warsaw, the garrison's still building. You guys are a bit depleted now. This Königsberg's got a solid garrison on inside. Okay, you could also push and attack Rostock because we've got this force here that's going to put Dresden under siege. Let's not build anything there yet because that's going to get attacked. Well. Oh, no, I'm going to maintain siege because I don't want to kill any of Augustine's army. Diogo needs to take the city and then drive south and attack these chaps. Need to repair here at Turin. I'm okay with that build being a happiness building. Let's build two light galleys to occupy these ports. Build the roads in Genoa. These armies are replenishing. Let's upgrade you to a governor's mansion. Upgrade you to cobbled roads. And then hold off because we will need to push. So you guys are going to hit. So Raimundo de Cuna is going to hit Rudiger Wertheimer and draw in this force here at Bologna as reinforcements. And you guys can swing north and probably auto that force and then this guy that's been sat here for an awful long time holding the bridge can push and seize and uh, seize Venice. I mean, that's quite a good outcome but obviously that's going to take a lot of um, dead troops. So I'm going to need to hold off on doing any more building for now. You're still needed here at Hanover. I mean to be honest I could, I could um, protect them from, or I could uh, exempt them from tax, but I'm not going to. Felix, can you leave Turin? Minus 10, no, not yet. These two chaps are holding, so they're okay. Okay, let's take Raimundo, attack Rudiger. Uh oh. Oh, that's so annoying. We're going to have to fight it, because otherwise we'll damage this army. Ugh. That army that's in that's uh, just to the northwest really did not want to help them because they knew what was going to happen. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. 
The Curse of Empire. Oh well. Soon be over. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to charge my cavalry in. It's only a unit of militia. And we've got more cavalry coming in from the rear. Which is a, which is Carlito. Oh no, it's the force on the bridge. Well, I want them to be okay still. So you are brave. Oh god! I'm an idiot. Thank god I spotted that. Be careful. Don't go too close, because they've got a... That's what I want. Not a charge. Just engage them in melee. There we go. Let's speed this up. The big thing will be to make sure I've got these guys selected to pull back once they retreat. And I don't want to send my lances in there, because they don't do well in regular old melee. Mr. Chap there. 26 horse guards are doing okay. But they won't they won't last that long. And at least it'll only be my cavalry that's upset. General's been killed. Pull them back. Well, I'm gonna continue. <laughs> I know I just said I'm not gonna fight it. I am gonna continue because look. I can make sure this militia unit doesn't come back. 43rd Regiment of Militia. There we go. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't surrender the position. And when no one comes in to help you. And Tito Cardenas, who is a field marshal at the head of an elite army, can drive north and hit this force here at Bologna. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for a bunch more battles against the Austrian Empire. We're going to fight here, we are going to attack this force here in port, we're going to attack Dresden, we're going to relieve the Siege of Gdansk, we're going to push out from Warsaw. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, probably push on to... Uh, Zagreb as well. Uh, but before we get ahead of ourselves, we are going to fight this fight first in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.